Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 5 of the power screw series. A single screw, square thread power screw has an input power of 3 kW at a speed of 1 revolution per second. So we have the power and the RPM, uh, that means that we can find the torque. The screw has a diameter of 40 mm and a pitch of 8 mm. So we, we are in SI system, the frictional coefficients are 0.14 for the threads and 0.09 for the collar. Sometimes the problem assigns the same coefficient of friction for both, but here they are different. So you need to remember to assign them properly. And that those are very high values for coefficient of friction as well. With a collar friction radius of 50 millimeter. Find the axial resisting load F and the combined efficiency of the screw and the collar. Uh, so here for in this problem, we have the power, we have the RPM. That means that from these two, I can find the torque. And then the torque to raise the load. We really, the problem doesn't tell us what application of power screw we are dealing with, whether it's a clamp or whether it's a jack that we are lifting a load, but that resisting load, F, uh, is the unknown of the problem. So after finding TR with information about the thread, we know we can find the F, the resisting uh, force. Let's write down the known values. So we have the power, 3 kilowatt uh, we have the rpm or here not revolution per minute but revolution per second uh, we have the diameter of the screw whenever the diameter is given that's the major diameter we have the pitch knowing the diameter or the major diameter and the pitch we can find the root diameter, the mean diameter here, because we are not doing any stress analysis, we don't need root diameter, but we'll need pitch diameter. The lead is the same as pitch here, because it's a single start, or when the problem doesn't mention anything, then we assume it's a single start. The mean diameter would be the major diameter minus half of pitch. If you remember the geometry of a square thread, if this is the major diameter and then the mean diameter would be somewhere here and we know the the height of the thread is half of pitch so the the difference between on one side is one fourth of pitch because we have both sides that's what we are using half of pitch here so the coefficient of frictions are given both for the collar and the thread, the, diam the diameter of the collar or the friction diameter of the collar. And then based on our equations here, we need to find TR. If I have TR, then I can find the F. But TR is not given to me directly. I have the power and RPM. So I know the power equation. I need to change this revolution per second to radian per second. That's how I can plug it into the equation. Remember the units. So I can find the torque. Now I have the torque. I can find the force that it takes or the resisting force or the clamping force, depending on the application. Now I need the efficiency. So here, the equation for the efficiency, I have the TR, I can find the efficiency. So as we expected, the efficiency is pretty low and mainly because of these value that that's a very high value of the friction and then we also have a collar so that would contribute to the additional uh, tr that we have 